just we are talking about the data types in the python are you getting that so the first five fundamental data types already we performed the post mortem can you can spell out which are five fundamental data types in the python sir yes we covered already inter type next the float the type next the complex type complex data type what the next one sir i forgot anyone can you please remind i forgot the names anyone can you please remind complex type next one after the bool type and then str type are you getting these are five data types are by default considered yeah fundamental data types in the python remember that these are the fundamental fundamental data types in the python sir now the point here is take a bit very very special care these things are fundamental data types in the python other than these some more data types are there advanced i mean i mean more more uh, sir advanced data types that part we are going to discuss right but anyway about all these things i covered one important point sir remember remember inject this point in your mind everything in python everything in python everything in python is uh, can you can you spell out everything is python is is object remember this one everything in python is object we are not having any primitive data types in the python remember that we are not having any primitive data types in the python okay primitives are not there even it is the int it is also object only it is also object object only right okay so make make sure then make make sure sir it is it is also sir like it is also uh, sir is considered as yes, uh, sir not primitive it's also object only remember that everything in python is an object only remember that i hope everyone can able to understand right okay that's all sir what is the next thing we require to we require to aware what the what the next one we require to aware is remember a bit very important sir all these are fundamental data types all these fundamental data types are are immutable this word is also very very important sir yesterday we spent lot of time about this word immutable what is the meaning of immutable sir once uh, once we create once we create we create an object once we create an object an object we can't change its content are you getting that we can't change change its content by mistake if we are trying to change with those changes a new object by default will be created remember that with those changes a new object by default will be created that's why all these objects are immutable objects are you getting that sir make sure all these things are immutable okay that's all so everything in python is an object next turn after the now sir do you know all these fundamental data type objects are immutable next uh, one type to another type you can able to convert yes type casting functions also available up to that it is a very clear for all of you right okay now just before going further i have one interesting doubt from the student can you please tell sir all the videos are already there in the youtube then what is the difference between online sessions and videos what answer you can able to tell <laughs> one student is asking this doubt then another one can what answer you can able to tell if all videos are there in all available in the youtube then what is the difference between then what is the difference between okay online classes and videos yes what answer you can able to tell for this <laughs> huh? yes when mother you didn't observe that you didn't observe that so there are several videos we are missing there are several videos deleted from the youtube so we are not going to post each and every video just up for few days if any new persons are coming like this uh, if any new person is coming like this just up for our promotion purpose just like for cinema trailers are going to be released in the youtube have you ever right so just like trailers we are going to keep in the youtube these total sessions are not going to be uploaded okay so even if we are going to upload then definitely this batch people or old batch people will give after and that was are we paid 7000 then you are giving at free of cost then what is the need of paying are you getting there are several members are going to give left and right to us that's why we are not going to upload don't worry about that we are going to share through google drive for you people remaining video first 15 first 10 to 15 we are going to share two two reasons if any person is missing then automatically happening you can viewing the video in the youtube is very easy then so our private uh, network that is the first thing second thing is even promotion is going to be happened for us for our batches that is the reason we are keeping beyond that nothing okay 
sir now these are the things what you people should be aware right now the next thing what i have to tell sir by its data type remember that sir there are some more data types are there extra data types sir can you please spell out by its data type by the array data type next and after that list type next and after that tuple type list type tuple type next the set type next and after that frozen set type set type frozen set type next the dict type dictionary type and then range data type none okay these are extra data types what we require to discuss right okay remember that so what is the first one sir bytes type are you what is the what is the first one sir bytes bytes type sir very very simple bytes data type remember again a group of byte numbers just like an array sir bytes a group of byte numbers a group of byte numbers just like an array remember this one sir a group of byte numbers just like just like an array sir a group of byte numbers just like an array an array okay like that sir now my question is how you can able to create just the what is the way sir very simple directly you can create sir directly you can you can create there is a way is there sir to create like that what is the way what is the way sir just observe that carefully what is the what is the way sir sir very very simple i'm going to take sir here x is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 20 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 sir this is about my list literally it is the list sir i want to convert into bytes type b is equal to bytes of x remember this one b is equal to bytes of x x right okay remember now let me print the type of b sir sir what is the b b is what type b is what type okay now i want to aware I want to be aware what is the output by default we are going to get sir py test dot py can you please observe the code once sir? sir i have one list is there sir this list i am trying to convert into bytes type sir by using which function sir bytes function next the print type of type of like this what is the output by default we are going to get sir bytes type are you getting right bytes this is what type sir can i can I spell out bytes type remember this one okay this is the bytes type right okay like this sir if you want uh, it is also sequence how you can able to access the element by using index right suppose if you if you want first element then b of zero are you getting if you want first element then b of zero is nothing but 10 if you want second element b of one are you getting b of one then automatically second element by default is going to come sir remember that so first element second element like this sir even if you want you can able to ask minus one also anyone can you please guess what is the value of b of minus one b of minus one anyone can you please guess the answer what we are going to get yes good good amir what what answer by default we are going to get more like divya manisha like you know 40 40 we are going to get because python supports both the positive and the negative indexes. I hope already I covered right. Sir, 10, 20, 30, 40 is there. 10, 20, 30, 40 is there. Sir, positive index means sir, 0, 1, 2, 3 is the positive index, right? Sir, negative index means sir, minus 1, minus 2, are you getting minus 3, and then minus 4. These things are negative indexes. Positive index means forward direction. Negative index means uh, backward direction. Everyone can aware right? Thank you. Negative index means backward, backward direction, right? Sir, now what is the output by default? We will get last output. Can you please cross check, sir? 40. Don't keep any doubt at all. Okay, that's all. This is about the bytes, bytes data type, sir. Sir, very simple. If you want to represent a group of byte values, okay, just like an array, then we should go for bytes data type. But here, one small twist is there, sir. There are two important conclusions are there. Make sure, sir. The only allowed values, the only allowed values for bytes by byte data type are 0 to 255 only. What is that value, sir? Can you can spell out 0 to 255 only? By mistake, if the value more than that. By mistake, if the value not in this range, immediately Python will give left turn right. Remember that, sir. If you want to represent a group of byte values, compulsory allowed the range is 0 to 255 only. So, bytes function internally 
will check each and every value within this range or not. If this value not in this range, sorry man, you can't allow, uh, you can't, you are not allowed to, to represent this group of values by using by itself. Suppose observe that, suppose observe, observe that, I'm taking, I'm taking 255. Is it allowed or not? Hey, respond. Is it allowed or not allowed? Is it allowed or not allowed? 255, if I can take, allowed or not allowed? Hey, no response. <clears throat> allowed right 255 255 allowed because 0 to, 0 to 255 perfectly it is allowed no problem at all are you getting so what is the output by default we are going to get sir 255 perfectly it is allowed but suppose 256 i'm taking sir boundary boundary 256 i'm taking can you please observe that can you please observe that value error value error bytes must be in the range 0 to 256 because range function it is always going to consider sir begin to end minus one remember this one range we will discuss the range data type there i will discuss right 0 to sir 256 means end minus one so 0 to 255 only by mistake if you are taking any other immediately error by default you are going to get clear right so the first conclusion right okay next um, second conclusion next second 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 conclusion sir take a bit very special care sir bytes data type is uh, immutable remember that bytes bytes data type is immutable what the meaning of immutable <laughs> what the meaning of immutable we can't uh, we can't change it by mistake, if you are trying to change its value immediately, you are going to get value error. Sir, where is that? Where is that? Sir, very, very simple, sir. Very simple. Just uh, let me remove this value. Let me remove this value. Sir, I am taking B of 0 is equal to, uh, B of 0 is equal to double 7 I am taking. Double 7 is within the range only. Double seven is within the range only. Sir, first statement in this B. First statement in this B. Can you please replace with the 77? Can you please replace with the 77? Immediately, error by report we are going to get. Okay? Sir, type error we are going to get. Bytes object doesn't support item assignment. Are you getting? Bytes object doesn't support item assignment. Remember that you can't change its content. By mistake, if you are trying to change its content, immediately type error, bytes object doesn't support item assignment. This is the error by default you are going to get. Everyone can able to understand? Everyone can able to understand? Okay? Remember that. So, what is uh, bytes? If you want to represent a group of byte values, then we should go for bytes data type. How to get a bytes data type? Next, two important points about bytes data type are one is uh, immutable. Next, uh, the allowed range of values is 0 to 255 only. Okay, that's all. This is the bytes, bytes data types. Uh, but very rare we are going to use this one under next data type. Byte array type also. What is the next data type we refer to talk, sir? Byte array. Byte array type. Sir, everything, everything related byte array and bytes, both are same, both are same. Except a small difference. What is the difference is don't tell sir here you took array, but here array is not there, that is not the difference. Functionality, why there is a small difference there between bytes and byte array. All properties of byte array is exactly same as bytes, is exactly same as bytes. Where is the difference? Where is the difference? Sir, the allowed range is 0 to 255 only. Sir, all properties are same except a small change. What is the change is instead of byte we report to use byte array okay this is if you want byte array type if you want byte array type then we have to use byte array function now let me print print type of b let me print a type of b type of b okay like so this is byte array are you getting what is the type sir byte array type okay well Next, uh, whether it is a byte or whether it is a byte array, I want to read all values for, for sir, i in b. Whether, whether it is a byte or whether it is a byte array, I want to print all values. Then automatically by using for loop, you can able to print for i in b, print of i. Sir, we will discuss for loop all these things in the, in the flow control topic. Don't worry about that. I am just using that, sir. 10, 20, 30, 40, answer. 
sir even if the byte also even if the bytes even if the bytes also for loop is applicable you can able to get all the data no problem at all sir okay so we vary the difference between byte array and the bytes sir anyone can you please tell anyone can you please tell what the difference between bytes and byte array can you please guess something yes the allowed range is always 0 to 255 only the allowed range is always 0 to 255 only here also by mistake if you are taking more than that immediately error we are going to get all rules are same except a small change except a small change okay what i'm taking b of 0 is equal to double seven i'm taking b of 0 is equal to double seven i'm taking can you please tell is it allowed or not allowed are can you please tell is it allowed or not allowed respond respond is it allowed or not allowed okay remember remember that is the difference between that is the difference between okay byte bytes type and byte array bytes type bytes type is always immutable but the byte array type is always immutable except that there is no other difference are you getting it? sir don't get confused it's always a bigger confusion which is immutable which is immutable sir bytes bytes immutable but a byte array mutable, byte array mutable, remember it is the byte array type, now the value will be changed or not, can you please cross check, the value got changed or not, yes, got the value changed, by mistake, it is not a byte array sir, it is the bytes type, is it allowed or not allowed, is it allowed or not allowed, if it is the bytes type, allowed or not allowed, why respond, allowed or not allowed, Re? Ah, not allowed, you should respond. Bytes type, allowed or not allowed? Not allowed, right? So, that is the difference between bytes type and the byte array type. Remember that, sir. So, what is the difference is bytes type, okay, is immutable, byte array type mutable, except that all the rules are same, sir. Remember this one. Sir, now, where you can use this byte and byte array type? Bytes and the byte array types are where you can use these this data types are sir remember we have two types of data in our general programming sir one is character data character data and the second one is binary data do you know the people who are coming from other languages sir, other languages sir, you may give character data text data binary data text data means sir i am writing this program it is the text data it is the normal normal text data but uh, I'm, I'm trying to open, I'm trying to open some image file. Are you getting? I'm trying to open some image file. Okay. Are you getting? This is the image file. Who introduced Python? Gudo. Gudo, sir. This person is the Gudo Van Rossum. Okay. I, I'm trying to open some image file. Sir, images, audio files, video files, these kind of things are by default considered as what? Binary data. Remember that binary, binary data, sir. This type of data is by default considered as binary data. So, if you want to represent a binary data, binary data, then we should go for bytes and a byte array type only. Okay. In general, yes, these data types are most commonly used where while handling binary data. But how you can do that, that part we will discuss soon. If in the file I go concept, how to read image, how to write image, and so on, we have there I will explain about this concept. Clear? Are you getting right? That's all this is about bytes. Next, uh, what is the next thing, sir? Okay, list data type. Very, very important. Most common user of data type, sir. Now, even today also I used already up to this, already I used list because this is the list. Are you getting right? This is the list of values. This is the list of values. Very common we are going to use, right? Very commonly we are, we are going to use, sir. This is the list of values. Are you getting type of X, sir? Can you please observe what is the type of x sir sir observe type of x if you consider that what is the type e by default consider the list only remember okay list is the most commonly used right now what are various properties are there for the list sir just observe that if you want to represent a group of values a group of values as a single entity then we should go for list anyway even in the case of byte and bytes also byte array also same if you want to represent a group of values yeah as a single entity then we should go for list but list speciality is insertion order insertion order is preserved 
what is the list of specialty, sir? Can I can explain now? Insertion order is a preserved, sir. In which in which order we added elements in the same order only the elements by default will be there, sir. Insertion order by default will be preserved. Order. Remember that. But tomorrow we are going to discuss about set data type. Right? But in the case of set, uh, sorry, sir, order is not going to be preserved. Like uh, so, but here insertion order will be preserved. Preserved. Just observe. What it means, sir? What it means? You are telling some insertion order, uh, not preserved also. Sir, I am taking empty list. List is nothing but within square brackets you are going to represent. Remember that list. Sir, let me take L. <coughs> L I am taking, sir, list. Sir, L dot append. Don't worry. Don't worry. In the next, somewhere we are going to discuss. Sir, just my intention is, my intention is uh, just to show insertion order preserved order with the example. L dot uh, here just I'm taking L dot L of 10. L dot L of Durga I'm taking. Sir Durga I'm taking. L dot L of L dot L of some 30 I'm taking. L dot L of true I'm taking. True I'm taking. Sir now it is the integer object, it is the string object, it is the float object, it is the float object, it is the boolean object. Because in Python everything is an object only. Print of L sir. Wonderful. Now observe, what is the output by default we are going to get? What is the output by default we are going to get, sir? Yeah, just observe that. So, in which order we added, in which order we added, in the same order only, inside memory, the data by default will be there. Everyone can able to understand, right? So, are you seeing insertion order? Are you seeing insertion order? First, which element we added? 10. Next, the second, which element we added? Durga. Next, which element we added? 30. 30.5. Which element we added? Sir, like uh, this is the output by default you are going to get. Make sure, sir. Ben Madhav, why you are expecting error in this case? <coughs> why you expected error in this case, Venu? Any reason for that? There is no concept of genrex. Yes, yes, we know. Here, no concept of genrex. Apple, you can allow to add uh, heterogeneous objects also, no problem. So, before adding, better to take the types if you want to, if you want to check. Okay, that's all. Sir, now, I hope it's a very clear for you people in such an order preserver. Remember that, remember that. Sir, how you can preserve in such an order, sir? First inserted element is always going to be placed at zero index. Second inserted element is always going to be placed at one index. Second index, third index, and so on. By using index, we can able to preserve insertion order. Sir, if you want L of 0, L of 0, immediately we are going to get first inserted element. Remember, next, I have one more doubt, sir. L the append of 10. Can you please guide? Is it allowed or not allowed? Are, is it allowed or not allowed? Because 10 is already added. 10 is already added. Still, I am trying to add another 10. 10 is already added. Still, I am trying to add another 10. Is it, is it allowed or not allowed? Okay. Remember that. Remember that. Okay. So, happily it is allowed. Happily it is allowed. The reason for that. The reason for that is, uh, sir, duplicates are allowed. Duplicates are allowed. No problem at all. Sir, if you want, observe that. 10. How many times it is going to come, sir? 10, 10. Then how you can differentiate these duplicate values? How you can differentiate these duplicate values? Very simple, sir. This is the value. This is the value locating at 0 index. Sir. This is the value locating at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4th index. Are you getting? This is the value locating at 0 index. Sir. This is the value locating at a 4th index. Sir. So, in list, the index will play very, very important role. Remember that, sir. So, we can maintain insertion order by using index. Sir. We can maintain, we can maintain insertion order by using index. We can maintain duplicate objects by using index. Remember that, okay? So, if you want to represent, if you want to represent a group of objects, first thing what, where insertion order is preserved, duplicate objects are allowed. Duplicate objects are allowed. Huh? Duplicate, duplicate objects are allowed. Then we should go for what the list concept. Clear? Everyone can able to understand with a practical example. But anyway, sir, we don't know this append method. We don't know about this. Don't worry about that. 
don't don't worry about that sir okay like uh, don't don't worry about we will discuss in the list list the big topics are almost four or five classes we refer this one there we have to discuss in detail just get the basic idea about overall idea about all data types project in the python next uh, heterogeneous objects are allowed or not can i can i spell out sir heterogeneous objects heterogeneous objects are allowed or not yes heterogeneous objects are allowed there is no problem at all remember that insertion order is preserved duplicate objects are allowed heterogeneous objects also allowed there is no doubt at all different type of objects are allowed even if you want none none means nothing nothing just like our java null none is also allowed in python list concept okay next um, another thing you people should be aware sir list is list list is growable are you getting list is a dynamic i can use the word dynamic or growable what it means sir what it means sir have you observed first first i created first first i created empty list empty list can i allow to add some elements or not yes we can allow now my empty list is slowly growing 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 automatically how many elements came sir do you know if you observe one two three four five five elements came now what i want to take sir l dot the remove remove of two i want to take l dot remove of two two i want to take okay can you please based on our requirement you can remove the element you can add the element we have to right so true by default will be gone because i removed that to true uh, because i removed that so based on our requirement we can increase the size we can decrease the size we can perform addition operation we can perform removal operation both options by default are possible that thing itself is nothing but okay growable nature next one, list objects are mutable are you getting list objects are mutable best example sir uh, list list objects are mutable mutable happily we are allowed to we are allowed to change its content yes first time i added 10 next time i added durga and so on next i can able to remove i can able to add means uh, list objects are mutable now everyone got basic idea everyone got the basic idea about the list concept sir uh, values have you have you observed right insertion order is preserved duplicate objects are allowed heterogeneous objects are allowed none values also allowed it is growable based on our requirement we can increase or decrease next time after that mutable next uh, the values should be the values values uh, values will be included or should be enclosed uh, within a uh, enclosed within square brackets are you getting that enclosed within square brackets i hope if you are seeing the output also even if you want to specify also square brackets within the square bracket if you are going to specify values that thing is always considered as a list concept remember that sir these brackets play very important role there's a big difference in there terms and we are going to discuss like this sir sometimes we may use this one okay like very the very the difference man very the difference like have you observed right square bracket next time after that parenthesis next time after that calibration sir square bracket notation means uh, list concept sir this uh, parenthesis concept means uh, tuple concept tuple concept we will discuss this one is not a set concept under dict concept dictionary concept right remember so square brackets will be square brackets will be by default uh, will be will be there remember square bracket notation bracket notation is a very important make sure we will discuss sir overall basic idea i hope everyone got up to this everyone got overall basic idea insertion order preserve duplicate objects are allowed heterogeneous objects are allowed non growable or dynamic mutable value should be enclosed within the square brackets okay how you can able to access that part i will discuss before that let me just uh, check that there are some doubts are there keep on asking from the students sir now <coughs> lakshmi are you getting audio so from your side there may be a problem can you please scratch it okay can we change the order to ascending order or descending order yes when mother there is one function is there sort sort the function is there so that by using that sort the method we can able to go for ascending or descending order we know sir while discussing list concept in detail i will discuss yes there is a possibility if you want you can sort the elements of the list either ascending order descending order alphabetical order okay like you can able to do that next uh, uh, arnab arnab das arnab what is your call name arnab right arnab what is your call name Arnab, 
okay so is there any concept of serialization serialization in case of list sir in python serialization is allowed in python serialization is allowed that serialization concept is considered a pickling pickle pickle pickling concept so pickling is one concept is there sir we are going to discuss that in detail don't worry serialization means the people who don't know the people who are coming from java background they were the people who don't know just uh, just aware there is one concept is there named with pickle pickling pickling concept unpickling concept there we will discuss in detail okay next uh, shivateja shivateja is, is asking heterogeneous objects hetero heterogeneous objects uh, hetero heterogeneous objects right uh, shivateja don't mind uh, yeah hetero heterogeneous objects shivateja <laughs> uh, don't uh, shivateja can you please Shivateja, yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, are you? Uh, <laughs> one minute. Because, uh, mm -mm. yes, observe that give it very carefully, sir. Shivateja, just observe give it very, very carefully about what you were about heterogeneous objects. What is the meaning of heterogeneous objects? What is the meaning of heterogeneous objects? Simple, different type of objects. Homogeneous means similar type of objects. Heterogeneous means different type of objects. Now, here have you observed, right? One is inter data type, the other one is a string data type, the other one is the flow type, the other one is the true means boolean type these are different type of objects by default considered yeah heterogeneous objects same type of objects means homogeneous objects i hope clarified next uh, divya uh, divya she is asking some doubt okay if we add two int objects say l dot append of 10 l dot append of 10 remove l dot remove of 10 which object will be removed wonderful doubt but actually this kind of Detailed doubts required to discuss somewhere in the list concept in detail, but as of now, remember that. As of now, remember. Yes, have you observed, right? So, the people who are to observe, observe is down. If we add two int objects, say l dot append of 10, l dot append of 10, and remove l dot remove of 10. Can you please tell what is the correct answer? Which value will be removed? Which value will be removed? Anyone? Anyone? Ah, remember that, remember that. Sir, only two, two options are there. Oh, three options are there. Option number one, first occurrence will be removed. Option number two, second occurrence will be removed. Option number three, all tens by default will be removed. Which one is the correct answer? <laughs> are you getting? First occurrence will be removed. Second occurrence will be removed. Third one, sir, all, all, all ten, wherever ten is there by default will be removed. Which one is the correct answer? Which one is the correct answer? Ah, that's what you people should be aware. That's what you people should should be aware. Okay? So make sure it is always going to remove first occurrence of 10. It's always going to remove first occurrence of 10. Okay? Don't uh, worry about uh, this type of internal things. We will discuss in detail in the case of list concept. But anyway, it will remove only first occurrence. Remember that, sir. Okay? Have a look once. L dot append of 10, L dot append of 10. Now, sir, I'm, I'm not removing anything. I'm not removing anything, anything. Then automatically, two tens by default will be there in our output, sir. First 10 is there, last 10 is also there. Now, L dot remove of 10. Which 10 will be removed? Can you please scratch check? Which 10 will be removed? Can you please scratch check? Is the first 10 or last 10 or all the tens gone? Like, the, can you please observe that? Which 10 got removed? Which 10 got removed? Have you observed the output? Which 10 got removed? Is the first, first 10 or last 10? First occurrence or last occurrence? Okay? Remember, remember that it is always going to remove first occurrence. Okay? That's it. So now, everyone got some basic idea about the list concept, right? List means insertion order. Preserver, duplicate objects are allowed. Heterogeneous objects are allowed. Non value is allowed. What is the meaning of non means something like null in Java? We will discuss in detail. Nothing. None means nothing, sir. Sir, let me add. Let me let me add none. Are you getting? Let me add none. None is a reserved word in Python. Huh? Let me add none. Have you observed right? None is also coming in our list or not? Yes. Okay. None values are allowed. None values are allowed. What is the use and so on? We will discuss. 
based on our requirement you can increase the size you can decrease the size no problem at all next once we create this object happily we are allowed to change the content so that's why it is always mutable next values should be enclosed within square bracket sir here brackets are very very important concept square bracket means a list and this parenthesis is nothing but tuple and the curly braces is nothing but set or dictionary we will discuss in detail don't worry about that sir next how to access elements of the list how you can able to access elements of the list okay elements of the list we can able to access by using either index you can use or a slice operator you can use have you remember right sir we covered already in the string concept slice slice operator just a very top level we discussed already right either index we can use or slice operator we can use sir what is the what is the meaning how you can able to access sir, sir i want to access first element i want to access first element sir i want to access first first element right okay l of zero are you getting i want to access first element l of zero how you can able to do that very simple sir else l of zero is nothing but 10 l of zero is nothing but 10 by using like this sir i want the uh, i want the uh, 0 to 0 to 3 sir 0 to 3 what is the meaning of 0 to 3 sir anyone can you please tell what is the meaning of 0 to 3 0 1 2 only sir from begin index to end minus 1 index begin index to end minus 1 index 0 1 2 only that values by default we are going to get have you observed 0 at the location one the location and the second location okay like the, this operator is by default considered a slice operator in detail we are going to discuss in the string concept detail but everyone got the basic idea right okay what is the syntax of what is the syntax of slice operator what is the syntax of slice operator can you can you spell out very simple sir very very simple huh, sir l of begin index end index mostly these two step value very rare we are going to use returns returns the sub list returns the sub list sub list from begin index to from begin index to n minus 1 index that's all so if i can consider if i can consider l of l of 0 to 3 0 to 3 means so returns the elements from 0 to 2. Are you getting returns the elements from 0 to 2 because n minus 1 index, n minus 1 index. Okay, like that's why we are going to get 0 to 2. That's all. This is about what is the meaning of sub list concept. Clear for all of you, Wherever, if you want to represent a group of values, where duplicates are allowed, where order is important, then we should go for list concept. List never talks about homogeneous, different type of objects are allowed. Based on your requirement, you can increase or you can decrease, you can add, you can remove. Next list is by default mutable, but make sure list elements we can access either by index or by slice operator, but make sure list is nothing but within square bracket, you should provide values. Either any range of the values, no such type of thing, don't worry, any value you are allowed to add in the case of list. Clear? Any doubt? Up to this, any doubt? All the points are known points only. Clear, right? Every point already we discuss. Right? Because if you cover list concept, then my remaining things will become very easy because most of the points are copy paste only. That's why. So that's why list concept, more concentration must be required for you people. Right? Okay? So uh, these are what is the meaning of insertion order? Duplicate objects, heterogeneous objects, none, global, mutable. Next time after that, square brackets representation, right? Okay, like now the next type what we have to discuss. Sir, just that this is the overall discussion. That's all. I'm not talking about methods, I'm not talking about application. Yes, while covering list concept, we are going to discuss about those things. Now, the next data type what we have to discuss, right? Sir, to pull data type. Remember this one. What is the next data type we are covering, sir? Tuple, tuple data type. Sir, very simple. Very simple. Sir, list almost around 15 minutes we spend only on the list concept. 15 to 20 minutes we spend only on the list concept line. But tuple concept, just in 15 seconds I want to explain. Sir, tuple, tuple, it is, it is exactly same. Exactly same as exactly same as list sir 
list except two changes except two changes okay change number 1 it is immutable it is immutable change number 2 <laughs> it will represent values inside parentheses that's all okay so i want to duplicates i want insertion order i want duplicates i want insertion order i want heterogeneous object so everything is allowed but once we create to pull object we are not allowed to change its content sir if you want a read only version of list if you want a read only version of list then we should go for to pull hey, any person is allowed to read only we are not allowed to perform update operation you are not allowed to change the content if you have such a type of requirement happily we can go for tuple concept are you able to understand right sir what is the difference between list and tuple every point is always same only one difference list is mutable tuple is immutable clear any doubt <coughs> any doubt about this one okay that's all sir now have a look once have a look sir can you please specify can you please represent something t is equal to i'm taking 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 are you getting t is equal to 10 20 30 40 sir let me print the, the type of t sir here have you observed which brackets are user which brackets are user can you please tell which brackets are user uh, respond parenthesis are you getting that these things are called parenthesis are you getting bracket open bracket close parenthesis parenthesis means uh, tuple type parenthesis means uh, tuple tuple type observe the tuple tuple types are suppose if i'm using square bracket if i'm using square bracket what is this one if i use a square bracket what is this concept uh, that knowledge must be compulsory you should have list concept are you getting if i use uh, curly braces if i use curly braces what about this one by default it is a set type remember that by default it is set type we are going to discuss in detail don't worry about that have you observed right it is what types are set type set type dictionary also we can use but dictionary means key values not individual objects like this we will discuss anyway don't worry about that okay here just uh, so we have to use look at this one itself is nothing but to pull to pull right so where is the difference where is the difference right every property is always same sir every property is always same at the list only list only but only problem is but only problem is you are not allowed to change its content t of zero is equal to sir triple seven i'm taking t of zero is equal to triple seven triple seven i'm taking sir so here just observe that t of zero is equal to triple seven immediately error by default we are going to get what is that error sir type error tuple object does not support any assignment regarding any item assignment right what is the reason is tuple itself is nothing but immutable or mutable uh, immutable except that no other difference between tuple and the search list yes any doubt any doubt <coughs> about this concept okay yes still one doubt i'm saying sir observe that uh, in list the number of elements of that many objects are created all elements are stored in a single object uh, shiva shivateja now uh, in the case of list uh, sir many objects are there all these objects will be will be created as a separate will be created as separate or will be created as a single object so if you observe if you observe memory representation sir just observe that memory representation l is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 assume that how many elements are there how many elements are there in this list or maybe it's a tuple also same how many four elements are there what will happen is what will happen is here just observe the memory diagram sub four size is there okay four elements assume that this is the first element this is the second element third element fourth element next and after that l l so usually we are always going to tell first element is the 10 second element is the 20 just uh, for our easy representation purpose we are going to take like this but strictly speaking here the value is not going to be stored it is called the, the reference of the object at 10 regarding but easy representation purpose 10 20 30 40 but internally what it means right here 20 means uh, 20 means uh, here by default 20 by default will be there 
everyone can able to understand right okay that's our first one is the 10 second one is the 20 like this internally yes like this the objects by default will be stored everyone can able to understand but memory level but being a programmer we are not required to worry that much memory level point of view shiva clear <coughs> yes okay yeah now that's all this is about list under two full concept now immediately I'm, I'm going to ask one one question sir just don't take one second time also you should respond you should respond if i'm providing a group of values within square bracket is it list or tuple hey respond man don't take one second time also if i'm taking a group of values within square bracket square bracket is it list is it list or set square bracket list if i'm taking values within parenthesis parenthesis okay parenthesis then it is the tuple concept list and a tuple which is immutable list and a tuple which is immutable 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 list and a tuple which is immutable and uh, tuple is immutable list is mutable correct right list is mutable now bytes and byte array which is immutable <laughs> don't get confused don't get confused bytes and byte array which is immutable which is immutable Ah, remember bytes is immutable byte array is mutable remember bytes is immutable byte array is mutable same sir list is mutable tuple is immutable remember that next uh, we should go for set a sigma are you going next uh, data type is set set a sigma sir so what is the difference between list and the tuple very common question for the entire year you should be in a position to answer what the difference between list and the tuple? List and tuple both are same, sir. Except that list is uh, immutable, tuple is immutable. In the case of list, the elements will be represented within square bracket. But in the case of tuple, the values will be represented within parentheses. That's it. Next, uh, what is the difference between set and the list? Set and the list. List and the set. In the case of list, insertion order preserved. In which order you added? Insertion order preserved in the case of list, but in the case of set, the insertion order is not preserved. Remember this one, insertion order not preserved, sir. If you remember your old academic uh, academic set theory, uh, discrete mathematics or mathematics somewhere, sets and sets, relations, functions like uh, at your childhood somewhere you may have the set theory. Set theory, suppose I have 10, 20, 30 is there. Next time after that, I have 10, 30, 20 is there. Next time after that, I have sir, just 20, 20, 30, 10 is there. Okay, like uh, next time after that, I have 30, 20, 10 is there. Like this. Can you please tell? Can you please tell? All these things are equal or not? All these things are equal or not? Remember that. Yes, all are equal. In the, in the case of set, uh, we never going to worry about order. Only thing is, array, number of elements, number of elements, same or not. Whatever elements are here, all these elements by default available here or not. That is what, what it is going to check. It's never going to worry about, sir, uh, just you know, order, such a type of thing, sir. That is the normal set theory, mathematics set theory, sir. Sir, can you please tell which is the first element? Array, can you please tell which is the first element? Which is the first element? You are thinking, man, which is the first element? First element? No, can't tell. You can't tell because it is a set. No question of first element, second element, third element, such a type of terminology is not applicable. So it may be any element. What is the last element? You can't tell. Such a type of terminology not applicable for the set. Remember this one. Remember this one. So I hope everyone can able to understand, right? Sir, make sure. Next, immediately you must. Sir. First element you you don't know first element you don't know second element you don't know third element so then how you can access the elements sir? index slicing such type of terminology not applicable for the set remember that indexing slicing not applicable for the set it is applicable only for list and tuple but not for the set then how you can access right by using for loop by using while loop you are allowed to access no problem at all there are some mechanisms are there to access the elements by using for loop by using while loop you can able to access even you have some methods also there that part we are going to discuss in detail while covering set data type detailed discussion okay remember sir in the case of set duplicates are uh, i mean insertion order preserved or not preserved 
your response ma'am insertion order is the preserved or not preserved not preserved not preserved okay sir next uh, duplicate objects uh, are allowed or not allowed duplicate object duplicate objects uh, are not allowed remember this one sir duplicate objects are not allowed by mistake if you are trying to add the duplicate objects by mistake if you are trying to add the duplicate objects okay so we won't get any error we won't get any error sir but the duplicate objects are not allowed remember the very very important question huh? for the for the interview room sir duplicates are allowed or not allowed duplicate objects are not allowed not allowed by mistake if you are trying to add the duplicate elements what will happen sir huh? sir nothing will be happen that element won't be allowed okay have a look once have a look once sir i'm taking T. I'm sorry. I'm taking yes is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30. Or otherwise, yes is equal to like this. I'm taking. Now listen, listen this one. Yes, sir. That yard. If it is a set, we report to use yard yard method, right? Yes, sir. That yard of 10 I'm taking. Next, yes, sir. That yard of Durga I'm taking. Observe that Durga I'm taking. Yes, sir. That yard of yes, sir. That yard of 10 yes sir that yard ah uh, sir 10.5 i'm taking 10.5 i'm taking yes sir the yard ah uh, true i'm taking true i'm taking sir print of print of yes sir are you getting print of yes sir yes sir sir just i'm creating empty set by using set function no problem at all we can create empty set by using set function okay now can you please observe which elements we are adding how many elements we are adding can you please tell 10 Durga 10.5 true. How many elements we are adding? Four elements we are adding, sir. Now my question is in which order I add first 10? Next to Durga. Next to 10.5. Next to none. I'm trying to add. Next to none. I'm trying to add. Oh, five elements I added. Let me print that. Let me print that. Have you observed? Let me print that. Have you observed? Have you observed? Okay. Here 10 Durga 10.5 true none. This is my order. This is my order. But uh, observe the output. Observe the output. Yes, in which order the output is coming? Within curly braces, in which order the output is coming? Uh, in which order the output is coming? True. Durga 10, 10.5. No. Nah. Order is not preserved. Order is not preserved. Okay. This order, output order under this one is the different. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Are you able to understand, right? Okay. So, order. We did no guarantee for the order. Yes, clear indication. Next, uh, 10 already there. 10 already there. So let me add one more 10. One more 10. Then how many, how many 10s? Uh, I added two 10s. Uh, but if you consider output, only one 10 only will come. Only one 10 only will come. Will come. Because the difference, uh, only one 10 by default will come. There is no second 10. The reason for that is because sub duplicates are not uh, allowed. Sir, so only two points you have to observe. From my discussion, sir, order is not preserved, duplicates are not allowed. Are you, are you seeing practically? Respond, man. Are you seeing practically? Practically, right? Forget about remaining doubts. I will explain. Are you seeing these two points, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure duplicates are not allowed, duplicates are not allowed, insertion order not preserved. Okay. Like now, there are two points, two or doubts. Uh, the people are keep on asking okay what is the first doubt is what the first doubt is sir i can take like this i can take like this but the problem here is but the problem here this type of notation is applicable for the dictionary also for the dictionary also by default curly brace open and close it is treated as a dictionary but not a set okay then how you can create empty set better to go for set function Remember, but for the set, uh, we are always going to use curly braces only. But curly braces are reserved for set, reserved for dictionary. But by default, if I am taking like this, it is by default treated as dictionary. So, empty, empty, empty means dictionary. Suppose if you can take already some value, then it is a set only. But here, empty, empty means dictionary. Where is the proof for that? Just uh, have a look once, print type, ah, print type of yes. Can you please observe what is going to be considered dict type, dict type. That's why if you want to create empty set, we should not use like this. We should go for like this. Okay. This knowledge while covering set data type, I will discuss. Don't worry. Still some people are asking the doubt. That's why I'm covering this one. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Who asked this doubt? I hope that clarified. Venkatrao. 
I hope that clarified. Sir, we should use curly braces only. But in this case, why I am calling set function is because curly braces story. Okay, by mistake, if I am using empty curly braces, default considered that dictionary, but not set. That's why one thing. Next and after that, what is the difference between yard and append? Yard in general, yard method we can use in the case of set. Append method is always going to use in the case of list to yard elements. Okay. So for the list append, we have to use for set we require to use yard method. Beyond that, no difference because the internal way of implementations are different. Different because the reason is in the case of append method, we have to talk with respect to index and so on. But a yard method never talks about the index, but make sure yard method is going to take care, duplicate should not be there. That's why internal implementations of these methods are different because first person is append is always applicable for list, next uh, yard is always applicable for set. Remember, sir, here append, append, append of 10 I'm taking, append of 10 I'm taking. In the list, we are going to use, sir. This append should yard this 10 at the specified index. I mean at last. Okay, even duplicates are there, no problem at all. It should do that. But uh, if I yard 10, yard 10 for the set, uh, so it should not be already there. Here index such a type of thing is not there. That's why for list uh, one method, for set another method we require to use. Clear? Okay. Shivataya, yes, duplicates are not allowed. Duplicates are not allowed. If you are trying to add a duplicate, just a simply it is going to tell, uh, it is going to ignore that element because it's already available. It is not going to rise any other. Okay. That's all. Clear for lobby, right? Okay. Next, a dictionary key value pairs, but we require to provide that. That part we are going to take care. So, set the wise. Only two points I covered. Set wise, only two points I covered. Insertion order not preserved. Duplicate objects are not allowed. Remember that duplicates are not allowed. Very, very important question for the entire year. What is the difference between list and set? What is the difference between list and set? Not required to keep much, much explanation about this terminology, right? Okay, sir. Next, uh, very, very important point, sir. List object uh, is mutable or immutable? Hey, respond. List object is the mutable or immutable? Mutable or immutable? Yes, mutable. Because we can add, we can change its content, right? Now, all these points, all these points, you can able to sir, apply with respect to the set. With respect to the set. Insertion order, not preserved. Not preserved. Duplicate objects are not allowed. If you are trying to add duplicate objects, nothing will happen. It will ignore that second element. Heterogeneous objects are allowed. None is allowed. Global or dynamic is allowed. Mutable. Mutable. Value should be enclosed with a curly braces. With a curly curly braces. Value should be enclosed with a curly braces. Okay. Next. Very, very dangerous points are index under slice operator index under slice operator are not applicable remember by mistake indexing under slice operator not applicable for the set not applicable because order is not there then where is the question of first element second element third element like how you can able to do that here no here just observe where is the where, where is okay, let me let me explain that point also 30 is there sir print on oh, can you please tell yes sub zero can you please tell? Yes, sub zero. I'm asking, sir. Yes, sub zero. Now observe that. Now observe that. Can you please observe that? What is the what is the error we are getting? Set object. Type error. Set object does not support indexing. Does not support indexing. Indexing is not there. Next, uh, if I can take slice operator, sir. If I can take slice operator, have you observed? Set object is not uh, subscriptable. Means uh, subset, subset is nothing but such a type of terminology, not applicable for set. Remember, index, index kind of concept. Next, the slice operator, these kind of things are not applicable for the set. Clear? <clears throat> uh, Divya, here there is no such a type of terminology. Yes, sir. one is the parent, the others are child. No, no, no. In the API, I don't think. Okay. So maybe in the books concept somewhere we will see practically. But anyways, up now independent entities like you should aware. Yeah, completed. Are you able to understand up to this? Respond. Any doubt? 
Slowly we are entering into Python. There are four concepts. So we covered up to this. List we covered. Tuple we covered. Next set also we discussed. What the next concept we require to talk, sir? Frozen set. Are you getting what the next concept we require to talk? Frozen, frozen set. Remember that. Then immediately you may ask, sir, what is the difference between list and tuple? Anyone can please guide. What the difference between list and tuple? Main difference. I want to return only one word. That's the main difference. What is the difference between list and tuple? Respond, man. Why you are silent? Huh? What is the difference between list and tuple? List is, list is immutable. Tuple is immutable. Once we create list object, happily we are allowed to change its content. But once we create tuple object, we are not allowed to change its content. Because this tuple is immutable, list is immutable. What is the difference between set and a frozen set? Set and a frozen set. Very simple, sir. Set is mutable. Set is mutable. And a frozen set is immutable. Frozen set is immutable. Are you getting? Set is mutable. Frozen set is immutable. Immutable like this, right? So, except that there is no other difference, right? Frozen set is always same as set. All properties are same. All properties are same, sir. Okay, duplicates are not allowed. Order is not important. Next time, heterogeneous objects are allowed. None is allowed. Okay, like all properties are same. Only one difference. What is that? Yes, set mutable. Frozen set is an animal immutable. How you can able to create frozen set object? Okay, remember, I have, sir, here observe that I have one set, set object is there, sir. Yes, is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40. I have one set object is there, 10, 20, 30, 40 is there, sir. Now I'm taking print of print, uh, here just observe frozen set is equal to just you require to call your function. What is the function name? What is the function name? Can you can you spell out frozen set is the function name? Are you getting frozen set is the function name? Boss, if you pass the set now the frozen set by default we are going to get sir print type of type of fs. Sir, what is this FS type, sir? Internally, what is this FS type, sir? Like you may ask, are you able to see frozen set type or not? Remember that, it's a, by default, it's considered as frozen set type. Remember that, okay? S is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40. FS is equal to frozen set of yes, print type of F, yes. Okay, it's the frozen set type. Now, frozen set is ready. Ready, sir. What I want to do, yes. Pass, can you please add the fifth element? F yes dot yard of some 50 am equal to 10. Please guide. Is it valid or not? Is it valid or not? Yes, frozen set. Is it valid or not? No chance at all. No chance at all. You valid. Morley. Is it valid or not? Invalid. Because just now I told frozen set is immutable. How you can change its content? How you can change its content? Immediately. Frozen set object has no attribute. Yard. Yard remove such type of terminology. Not applicable for the frozen set. Sir, for X in in F yes. For X in F yes. Print of X. Print of X. Yes, I'm reading, reading like reading like this. What I'm going to use 40, 10, 20, 30. Sir, I have told. Order is also not followed. Order is also not followed. First 40, next 10, next 20, next 30, by default you are going to get. Because it's not order. Order is not important in the case of set under frozen set. Clear? Any doubt? Okay? Yeah. <coughs> now there are just one or two doubts are there. Sir Ashish is asking, what is the use case of frozen set? What is the use case? Use case of frozen frozen set okay sir just very very simple sir use case of triple and frozen set very very simple just observe that observe that sir just uh, suppose assume in our <coughs> in our programming uh, vendor missions uh, <coughs> do you know vendor vendor missions uh, something like uh, if you are going to keep coin then you will get some what we call uh, uh, some Mm, small for the kids purpose we are going to get right for those uh, snacks or something like that have you ever said right if you are going to uh, uh, sir insert coin 
then automatically we are we are always going to get okay we are always going to get uh, some, some snacks or otherwise uh, so some some chocolates or something like we are going to get vendor missions even these vendor missions can be applicable to check your weight to check your luck to check uh, to get cool drinks these kind of things have you ever heard about this one are you keeping in your mind uh, are you is it going to strike in your mind vendor missions no na yo respond man even uh, yes uh, it is it is there it is there right okay like if you are going to keep the coins and so on okay like now my question is why developing <coughs> these vendor missions assume that allowed coin types allowed coin types are allowed coin types are sir 1 rupee 2 rupee next uh, 5 rupee next uh, 10 rupee these are the four 1 rupee 2 rupee 5 rupee 10 rupees only these are the four types are you getting only these are the four types i never going to use any other type sir now here these are the four things these are the four things the content is always fixed up duplicates are not allowed are you getting that if i'm going to i want uh, sir is which type e and uh, just i want to check is it valid type or not sir we are not required to represent these duplicates are you getting duplicates are not important end user means at two or means at five or means at one we are not required to worry about order something like that. are you getting sir wherever you don't want to duplicates wherever you don't want to change the content are you getting you don't want duplicates wherever you don't want to change the content you don't want to change the content then automatically happen you can go for frozen set remember this one content should not be changed content should not be changed we are not allowed to change the content because content is always fixed next order is not important not important duplicates are not allowed then happily we can go for frozen set remember that clear ashish okay that's all so just sir duplicates are allowed sir duplicates are allowed sir sir duplicates are allowed sir order is also important sir then automatically we can go for list please run our program requirement we can go for the corresponding types okay that's all friends this is about set and frozen set okay like that. now the last concept what we required to discuss i mean last part one concept what we required to discuss dictate type what is this concept sir can you can explain now dictate type what is the meaning of dict 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 means what respond dict means what don't be silent dict means what dictionary dictionary type are you getting dict dict dictionary type sir so up to this you are always going to talk about 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 or otherwise you are talking about 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 or otherwise you are talking about 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 <laughs> are you getting so either within square bracket or within curly braces or within parentheses you are always going to represent only individual values sir this is the first value this is the second value this is the third value this is the fourth value like this right so total sir first second one two three four one two three four like four individual objects are there four individual first object second object third object fourth object like uh, four objects are first object second object no way related even different types also you can take one is int type the other one is the double type the other one float type the other one is the boolean type like different type first object second object no relation at all such a type of things are nothing but individual objects if we want to represent if you want to represent individual objects a group of a group a group of individual objects individual objects then we should go for then we should go for all the above set list tuple okay tuple next turn after that frozen set like we should go for that right but now my requirement is i want to represent a group of objects as key value pairs are you getting right i want to represent a group of objects as key value key value pairs sir something like 101 roll number durga 101 durga 102 roll number sir sunny something like 103 row number something like shiva like like i'm taking sir have you observed right okay so if you are considering key value key value are you getting key value if you want to consider a group of objects here yes, key value key value pairs then we should go for dictionary concept everyone can you sir 
because this basic idea you should aware but the what is the use of application areas and so on we will discuss while covering in detail concept right? first get the basic idea of all data types so what we should go for if you want to represent a group of objects as key value pairs then we should go for dictionary if you want to represent a group of objects as individual objects individual objects then we should go for normal set the list tuple and so on right sir how you can able to represent sir what all these things what all these things these things are nothing but what uh, what all these things keys sir keys sir these things are nothing but what values remember sir this is a dict dictionary concept exactly same as map concept in java remember this one sir map concept in java remember in in java we are always going to talk about map hash map link dash map hash table like uh, here we are going to use the word the dictionary beyond that nothing clear yes sir only one condition duplicate keys are not allowed but values can be duplicated duplicate keys are not allowed duplicate keys are not allowed not allowed but the values can be values can be duplicated no problem at all next uh, in order order is not the uh, order is not preserved in which order you are going to add we don't know that that order is never going to be preserved internally remember that this type of concept is nothing but what dictionary clear yes are you in a position to understand okay how you can how you can able to do that yeah how you can uh, how you can able to do that sir very very simple very very simple terminology sir d is equal to like this if you know key value pairs yes just a a a is the key sir key colon colon means a key next a for apple okay sir this is one key value pair have you observed right this is the key this is the value remember this is the key and this is the value key value pair next a b for uh, b for i respond man i don't know a for apple b for b for bat okay next uh, c for c for <laughs> c for cat okay like this are you getting so have you observed a for apple b for bat c for cat so this is first key colon value comma second key second value third key third value now i have one small doubt i hope whether you observed or not key value after every key value which which symbol is there after every key value which symbol is there comma is there comma first key value comma second key value comma third key value next up between key and value which symbol is there i respond between key and value which symbol is there which symbol is there colon colon observe that if it is a java we have equal symbol is there but in python we have colon symbol is there sir remember that okay now if you want observe very carefully sir okay print of d print of d d like this are you getting a for apple b for bat c for cat happy leaves going to represent which is nothing but dictionary sir i want to add a new thing are you getting i want to add a new thing sir d is the key sir d is equal to d for dog i want to add are you getting d for dog so if you want to add a new key value new key value d d of key sir equal to value d of key equal to value this is itself is a nothing but itself is a nothing but key value key value itself is a nothing but like have you observed right d d for dog like this are you getting d for dog added, added or not yes if this d already there then the old value will be replaced with a new value suppose a i'm trying here a i'm trying here sir a is already there or not respond respond a is already there or not yes it's already there if it is already there old value will be replaced with the new value remember a sir a for apple apple gone in that apple place dog came in the picture because duplicates are not allowed okay that's all this is about what is the dict data type right clear any doubt yes friends are you able to understand right now you should have uh, you should aware byte type byte array type okay 
but these two things very rare we are going to use that's why I don't concentrate much about that sub basic idea is enough next the list type tuple type set the type list the type tuple type set the type set the set the type next the big of frozen set frozen frozen set next and after that list the type wonderful sir almost uh, sir these are data types are already we discussed uh, next arnabdas arnabdas how to print only keys or values how to print only keys or values yes don't worry about that there are some methods are there uh, and the d you can call keys uh, keys or key set something like there are corresponding methods are there don't worry about that while discussing dictionaries we are going to we are going to discuss all that api okay just get the basic idea dictionary means key value pairs that's all next the list duplicate objects order is important set duplicates are not allowed order is not important tuple it is the just the immutable version of list frozen set is the immutable version of set so if you want the individual objects then we should go for that if you want the key values then we should go for dictionary just get some basic idea in your mind any doubt most valuable concept this very important questions for the entire room by the part are going to be covered can i expect everyone can able to talk few minutes about each and every data type each and every data type are you going to talk each and every data type at least few minutes okay yes make sure that knowledge must be required sir okay like that sir don't worry about that all these things all these things very clearly i specified in our material just download that material download that material and happily you can go through that okay if you are going to legion legion and then refer again so that you people will get much 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 clarity about this one sir i'm sure okay sir one minute one minute sir here just have you observed right python language fundamentals okay sir just uh, do you know data types concept data types concept not the language yes no uh, data types concept just observe that just uh, have a look once have a look once today i started the cinema from here what is the bytes type next time after that what is the bytes type conclusion byte array type list type next and after the tuple type next the range type I, I will cover at last anyway don't worry about that only range type at the separate set type we discussed frozen set frozen set dict type like okay dict type like even a small summary table also will be ready for you so that uh, you can able to understand very very easily right okay make sure compulsory download this material and actually go through that so that the points are going to be injected in your mind okay that's all clear clear right any doubt okay that's all so this class will be continued in the tomorrow spot don't worry about that okay just i hope are you feeling comfortable are you feeling comfortable